what's up welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video it's natural crew here and first of all let's just stop if you aren't already subscribed go ahead and hit the subscribe button and i'll tell you why because i said so because i said so so go ahead and hit the subscribe button what you waiting for all right now that we got that out the way let me tell you what this video is gonna be about so if you're watching this video and you have just always wanted clear glowing skin go ahead and click the like button because we we a family now we might as well stick together because when i say I have always just wanted my skin to glow, and I'll tell you. But the thing is, let me not even try to front. I've never really had problems with my skin, per se. Like, I've never really had acne-prone skin. I mean, I will say maybe I get pimples once a month. If I'm really stressed, maybe twice a month. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really get pimples like that. But that doesn't mean I don't want to keep that trend going, you know what I'm saying? But the thing is, when I was younger, I I ain't never seen a pimp on my face. And the most I did was just wash my face with water. That's all I did. But then I started to experience puberty. I got older, I got more stressed, and my skin said, amen, amen, say amen. I'm gonna have to get a pimple once or twice. And so I had to change my routine accordingly. You know, just water on my face wasn't gonna do justice anymore. All right, so I got nine tips. I don't know why it's not 10. I couldn't think of a 10th one. So we're gonna, nine it is, we're gonna be with nine. I got nine tips on how to get healthier skin, how to get your skin glowing, how to get your skin popping, just get your skin looking like mine. And here we go. Tip number one, wash your face with warm water and then follow up with cold water. And let me tell you why. So I've just always heard that if you wash your face with cold water, you're actually doing nothing for your skin. You are doing absolutely nothing. If you wash your hands with cold water, if you wash your, if you shower with cold water, if you're trying to get rid of bacteria or germs, you're not doing that. You're just not. But then if you wash your skin with hot water, I mean, first of all, you burn your skin. You like that? Literally what you're doing is dehydrating your skin. Like hot water is too much for our skin. So the best bet is to find a happy medium and go with lukewarm water. All right, so after you wash your face with lukewarm water, when you follow up with cold water, you're sealing in that moisture. You're closing up your pores because warm water is opening up your pores. And if you don't close it with cold water, you're leaving your open pores prone to catching bacteria. And then boom, we got a pimple. Tip number two. I know you guys have heard this a lot and I'm telling you, I mean, it's the key to success. You, you have to. Drink water, man. That's, that's all I can tell you, drink water. I mean, you gotta rehydrate. You gotta hydrate yourself. How, you go, how do you expect to have clear glowing skin if you don't even drink water? If all you drink is soda? Hello? Hello? You listening? Because soda, you think soda is gonna be the key to success for your skin? It's not. So go ahead and switch out the soda. Juice is okay, but we need to incorporate some water into that routine. Number three. Let me just put this into perspective for you. Now, if you are touching door handles, if you are, if you have just touched money, first of all, with money, who knows where that has been? It could have circled around the globe. It could have been exchanged for currency. If someone could have did in their nose and touched that same dollar that you're touching. And now you touching your face? Your skin is like, hey, yo, come on now. Like, yo, keep those dirty paws on my face. You know, like, your skin wants to square up with you now because you can't stop touching your face. Stop touching your face. Like, I can understand a little scratch, scratch, a little scratch, scratch here and now, but to be touching your face, you're doing too much now. You're doing too much. Do your face and your skin a favor not touching your face. So first of all, if you dry your face with a towel, mm, see, you know, you, mm, it's a little too aggressive for your skin. Just like for our hair, we should dry it with like a t-shirt. We should do the same thing for our face. And if you are drying your face by rubbing it, you're doing something wrong. You're doing something wrong. What you need to do is pat dry your face. Actually, to be honest, to avoid all of that, I usually air dry my face, but if I you know, need to like follow up with product, if I'm like, I can't really wait for my face to air dry, I will pat it with a, like a t-shirt or I'll pat it with a towel. 
the most important thing is like you can use a towel you can use a t-shirt but the most important thing is to pat dry your face do not rub your face clean because your skin is literally like dang like ow ow that hurt <laughs> like I, I think I'm like the face whisperer and I can hear them and they're saying, yo, stop hurting me, okay? All right, tip number five is find out your skin type and use products accordingly. So I have combination skin. My skin doesn't really get oily. My skin doesn't really get dry like that. However, like my nose sometimes gets really dry and my forehead sometimes gets really dry sometimes not not often but sometimes and so that's why i have combination skin but there's definitely like a lot of tests out there that can test if you have oily skin dry skin sensitive skin combination all of the above and so the products i use are for combination skin so if you have combination skin i mean we we out here we out here so if you don't have combination skin i probably wouldn't use the products that i use so like if I were you, I wouldn't I wouldn't use it. Because you might use my products like, okay, natural crew said use this. Okay, let me use it, let me buy it. And now my skin breaking out. And then you're gonna blame me. Hey, don't hate the player, hate the game. You gotta find the products that work for your skin. So if you haven't already, go ahead and watch the video where I review the Mario Badescu line. Cause that that line gets either a lot of praise or a lot of, you know bad reviews and i was like let me go ahead and see what this is about so it's gonna be like up there or up there somewhere on the little top of the screen for you to go ahead and click and watch that video because um that product line has you know products for many different types of skins and um in the video i made sure to specify like which product is for which skin type and yeah all right tip number six is to eat healthy now, I think what really contributes to why my skin is so clear and glowing is because I eat healthy. Like, let, let me tell you what I eat. My diet consists of fruit smoothies, fruits, pasta, rice here and there, vegetables, oh, and chocolate. I eat a lot of chocolate. And salads. Oh, if y'all know me, y'all know I eat salads every day i love salad so i don't know if you you know heard the list but did you hear chips in there did you hear junk food did you hear fast food nah. here and there i'll eat maybe a pizza maybe like here and there i don't really eat junk food like that everything i just stated is what i eat on a daily basis and because i eat so healthy i'm pretty sure that you know translates to my skin so if you're eating fast food every day, since I'm the face whisperer, your face is telling you I hate you. Your face does not want to eat all of that. Your face wants to eat fruits and vegetables. Your face wants to drink water. It doesn't want to drink soda. All right, the next thing I would suggest is to incorporate face masks on a weekly basis. Face masks really help my face. I don't know what it is about it, but it just really makes my face look good. All right, so now there's a couple of face masks that I can recommend for you guys. So my sister got me like a pack of all of these and they really, really work for my skin. I usually do face masks every Tuesday. And so this is Salavi. Salavi, I was gonna say the right, but it has so many different ones. Like this one's like aloe vera. This one is honey. This one is pomegranate. This one is charcoal. Well, this collagen, rice, and there's so many other ones that was in this pack, but I um I use them. And so um I really like how it works for my skin, so I suggest that. Now there's also um the clarifying mud mask from the Shea Moisture African Black Soap um facial line. And I actually did a video on um reviewing these products, so it's gonna be up there, up there. Go ahead and check that out. So my sister also got me this one. It's Free Man Feeling Beautiful Anti-Stress Dead Sea Minerals Clay Mask. Um, and it's a 10 minute mask and it instantly clears pores and balances for renewed skin. So um, this is what I also use. And then lastly, I use the Flower and Tonic Mask from the Mario Badescu line. That's what I've been using recently and I really like it. 
it's for a combination of oily and sensitive skin type. So if you have dry skin, forget I said anything. And so I also reviewed this in um, the Mara Badescu video. So again, go ahead and check out that video. All right, the next tip is to clean your phone. You Have you heard that your phone might be dirtier than a toilet seat? Are you? you miss me with that. When I heard that, I said, copy. I said, copy. That is noted. That is noted. I'm not, I, nah, excuse me. So what I've done is, if not every day, but every other day, I will always wipe my phone down. I would always wipe my iPad down. I would wipe down frequently, you know, frequently, how, how do I explain this? Like surfaces that I frequently touch, um, like even my, my computer mouse, my TV remote, I always wipe those down. Even my microwave handle, I wipe that down because I do not want that touching my face. My face does not want it touching it. You know what I'm saying? Like, go ahead and clean your phone. Because nine times out of 10, that's probably the thing that you touch the most. And let's say like you swipe into your apartment, swipe into, you know, open the door to your house, and then you grab your phone. That's disgusting. All right, lastly is to have a morning and a night routine, and here's why. So, you know, I'll have a morning routine and my face will be looking, you know, banging throughout the day. Like, you know, I'll be looking like a baddie and then I'll go to sleep. But then when I wake up in the morning, I'm like, my nose is just peeling dry. My forehead is looking the best. It's looking tragic. However, once I started doing night routines, in the morning, my face would look rejuvenated already. And so I would do a morning routine just to keep that, you know, momentum going and then follow up with a night routine. That means that there's never a time where your face is just not feeling good. You know what I'm saying? So if you, you know, catch your face in the morning and catch your face in the night, you're doing your face, you're, you're doing your face justice. I don't know, just in case I wanted the close up of my skin. All right, thank you so, so much for watching this video. I hope you guys learned something new. I hope you guys could take the tips that, that I presented in this video and use them. It doesn't have to be all of them, you know. I feel like I know what I'm talking about, but just in case, you know, you don't agree with some of them, take the ones that you agree with and incorporate them into your routine. And drop a comment, da blah, blah, blah. Drop a comment down below if you tried them and if it worked for you, let me know. If it didn't work for you, let me know. Let me know if I don't know what I'm talking about because maybe I don't, maybe I do. Who knows? So yeah, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, share it with somebody who you feel like you know could use a little picker upper who could gain from these tips I'm giving. And um, stay tuned for my next video. This is Natural Crew, and I'm signing out.